Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to flash the BIOS on your MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. Now this is for CPU upgrades. Out of the box, this motherboard won't support the Intel i7-13700K that I'm gonna be using today. So I need to flash the BIOS in order for this to work. It's really quite simple to do. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's dive into flashing our BIOS here on our motherboard. So the components we're gonna to need today, first off of course, is the motherboard. Make sure you don't have any of your components installed on it. So no CPU, no GPU, no RAM, no NVMe drives, just bare bones out of the box is best. You don't wanna fry your motherboard or your components. And again, this motherboard is not compatible with my i7-13700K out of the box. If you're curious what CPUs this motherboard does support, you can find those over on the MSI website. And if you're interested in the components I'm using for this build, you can find them all below in the description. So let's lay down our motherboard here. I'm gonna put it right on the box and we'll come back to that in a moment. From there, we're also gonna need our power supply. I'm using a Corsair RM750 power supply and this is fully modular so I can just plug in the cables that I wanna use for this build. We're gonna need two of the cables here. So first off, we're gonna need the 24 pin ATX cable, so that's the big one. And we're also gonna need an eight pin CPU power and that's the CPU power one. So those are the cables we're using today. So the last component we're gonna need is a flash drive. We're gonna need to set this up on a working computer. And I've heard some people have had problems with flash drives over 32 gigabytes that are USB 3.0 or newer. I happen to have a older one, it's a USB 2 and it's a 16 gigabyte flash drive. So if you're having trouble with a newer flash drive, maybe try an older one. So we're gonna plug this into my computer, set up the flash drive, and then we'll move over to flashing the BIOS on the motherboard after that. So let's set up that flash drive, head on down to your start menu, and we're gonna right click on it. And we're looking for our file explorer right here. You can go ahead and left click on that. And then search for your flash drive here on the left hand side. Mine's right there, it says Kodak. We'll go ahead and left click on that. Now you do wanna make sure that you've backed up any files that are on this drive because we're gonna format it. You will delete everything on this drive and make sure you do select the correct drive because you don't wanna format the wrong drive and lose all of your data. So find your flash drive there and we are gonna right click on the flash drive over here on the left hand side. And in here you should see the option that says format. You can go ahead and left click on format and it's gonna bring up a little window that looks like this. And we're gonna look at the capacity. I'm gonna leave it at the full capacity. And file system here, we want this to be FAT32. So not NTFS, not XFAT, but FAT32. We'll just go ahead and left click on that. And we can name our volume here as well. I'm gonna leave mine as Kodak. And again, this will delete everything off the drive. So make sure it's all backed up. We'll go ahead and hit start. Warning, formatting will erase all the data on the disk to format the disk. Click OK, we'll go ahead and left click on OK, and it's gonna format that flash drive for us. Format complete. So let's head on over to the MSI website and you can do a quick search for your motherboard. Again, we're using the MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. I'll have this page linked below in the description. And up here at the top, there's a bunch of different tabs. We're looking for the support tab. And again, make sure it is the correct motherboard. And you can select the drivers and downloads here and then select BIOS and you should see all the BIOS versions right here. Now I'm gonna select the newest one that doesn't say beta. I know sometimes there's beta BIOS is in here. I want the newest one that doesn't say beta, which is this one right here. And over here on the right hand side, it says download. We'll go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna download it right here. And you can search for it. If you're not seeing it in your browser, it might be in your download section. I'm gonna just go ahead and move that to my desktop and we'll minimize this. Now we're gonna go ahead and extract this folder as well. So let's go ahead and right click on the folder. And in here, you're gonna see an extract all option. So let's go ahead and left click on extract all and we can choose a destination. I'm gonna just put this on my desktop for simplicity and we'll go ahead and left click on extract and it's gonna create another folder right there. And this is where the files are that we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and open up this folder and there's two files in here. And this is an important step. We're gonna show the file extensions because we need to change the file extension as well. So in here, this is Windows 10. It'll be slightly different in Windows 11. 
head on up to the view here at the top. You can left click on that and there should be a file name extension right here. So make sure that is turned on. And now you can see the extensions in your file names right here, .txt and .190. Now the 190 file is the one we are changing today and we need to change the name of this. This is a really important step, otherwise your motherboard won't find the file. So we're gonna find that e7d30ims.190 file. We're gonna right click on it and in the menu that comes up, you should see it says rename here. Just go ahead and left click on rename and we're gonna delete all of what's in there and type in these exact letters. So MSI, all capitals, and then a period, and then ROM, all capitals, and hit enter. If you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, and it's gonna change that name. Now from there, we need to go ahead and move that file to our flash drive. So I'm just gonna minimize this. We'll open up that flash drive. Maybe I'll minimize that a bit. And then we'll just drag and drop that over, just like that. And it's copying it over. We'll shut down these windows and we'll go ahead and eject our flash drive and jump over to our motherboard. So ejecting your flash drive, bottom right hand corner, you can expand it you'll see your flash drive there. Left click on it, eject USB flash drive right there. So let's jump over to our motherboard. So we've got our motherboard here, we've got our power supply, and again, we need to plug in our two cables into the motherboard. We've got our 24 pin ATX and our CPU power one, that looks like that. So the locations, the 24 pin is right here along the side, that's the big one. We can go ahead and plug that in. Make sure you're putting it in in the correct direction. Should snap into place. And the ATX1 that we're using, ATX Power 1, is right here. It's not the second one, it's the first one. We don't need to put in both of these for the BIOS flash, just the first one here, the ATX Power 1. And just make sure those both snap into place just like that. I'll grab my power, plug that into my power supply here. The power supply is turned off. We'll get to that in a moment. Now on the side here, back by the IO shield, you're gonna see one of these USB drives or USB ports right there. It says flash BIOS on it. It's the one right there for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and take my flash drive and we'll plug it in there just like that. And up here it says, flash BIOS button. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this down here. I'll turn on the power supply here. And then I'm gonna push the button here on the side. And you can see that the Kodak light here is blinking. You can see there's a little light blinking in here. And the lights are turning on. My fan's spinning and it's flashing the BIOS here. So we'll just wait for that to finish and then I'll come back to you. And there we go, there was a little click here and it's restarting and it clicked off again. So it's all done there, the motherboard restarted, the flash BIOS button stopped blinking, the flash drive stopped blinking and we are all done there. Go ahead and turn off your power supply and safely remove all your cables and your flash drive from your motherboard. And you are all done. Your MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard has been flashed. And just for your reference, the flashing process took about six minutes on my motherboard. So I hope this tutorial helped you flash your BIOS on your MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. If this video did help you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.